Hi, my name is Kirk Bauer. I wanted to show you my game room. Let's start with the shelves. I actually organize all my games by size. So you see I have a mix of Euros and American games here. Uh, I have about 300 games on, 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 in my collection and I try to keep it around that number. So I try to store them as efficiently as possible. Uh, these shelves I actually purchased from Lowe's like 15 years ago, so you probably can't find them anymore, unfortunately, but they adjust really nicely so you can fit the, the, the square and the, and the, and the rectangular size boxes. I even can store um, coffin boxes uh, vertically, which is really nice. Uh, the lighting I actually purchased from Ikea. It's pretty common and they're pretty inexpensive, and that really helps make the, the visual better. Uh, and let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the game room now. So this is the table, which is of course is an important part of the game room. Uh, this is a great size, it's 7x4, uh, not really too big, not really too small. I can play a lot of games here. Uh, this is actually a pool table with a poker slash dining top. I can flip this over and take it off. It's not a great pool table, but I don't really play pool, I play board games. So, um, And on the table here I have uh, River Wars actually, I just got that from uh, Kickstarter and I'm looking forward to trying it out pretty soon. Nice thing about this is I actually have this uh, six piece uh, Matt from the terrain guy and uh, I can play Dust Warfare, that's what I have set up here on this table and it fits really nicely. When my wife and I got married a few years ago we actually had a custom made crokinole board and it was at our wedding for guests to play with and now it actually is on the wall because it's pretty big and it's honestly the best place to store it, we just take it down when we want to play. So this is my Dust Warfare slash Dust Tactics collection uh, even though I actually do paint minis which you'll see a little bit later uh, I, the pre-painted ones are really nice and I went with those here and uh, the shelves are a great way to store them unless I want to travel with them which I don't so much. So over here we have a few more floating shelves for my larger dust warfare units and up here I actually have uh, what I found on eBay like all my other shelves is some shot glass shelves that I use for the medium sized uh, Arkham Horror miniatures also for uh, Mansions of Madness actually. Um, the Arkham Horror ones you can buy pre-painted and the Mansions of Madness I just painted to match so I have multiples. And over there, I actually have, uh, it's actually a type case for old printing press that was actually a drawer and I painted it and put it on the wall. And I have the Arkham Horror Investigators and I have all of the uh, Descent heroes that I painted. This I actually found at Ikea. And this is real nice. I have my Dwarven Forge train in here for uh, use for Descent other dungeon crawlers. And uh, nice little PVC-like material, nice and sturdy. When I moved in, this closet was completely empty, so I took the uh, opportunity to build my own shelves, perfect for gaming. Uh, of course, then Ogre came, and it won't fit on any of the shelves. But my rest of my tackle boxes can. I have one for Dust, I have one for Descent, I have Memoir 44 over there, I even have one for X-Wing. And uh, I love organizing, I love making games easy to get out and play. If you take a look through my photo submissions on Board Game Geek, you'll find that I'm actually quite obsessed with organizing games. So I have quite a selection of Plano cases and similar items here, and uh, under these cabinets I also have a whole bunch of extra storage options as well. Here's a couple of examples of my organizational efforts. Uh, Cavern is a recent game. It's known for having a lot of parts. It actually took me four Plano boxes, uh, and of course seven different colored baggies, one for each of the seven players, which really helps for setup. Arkham Horror is a uh, game that has a ton of cards if you have all the expansions. I have a custom foam core insert that allows me to quickly find the card I want using these index cards. So that's my game room. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on Board Game Geek or YouTube. Thanks for watching.